I'm Eki Thump and welcome back to Let's Play Imperion Galactic Survival. I think we all know what we're doing this session. We're doing some more work on the capital ship. I've just been out uh, while these blocks were finishing off and collected some iron and copper which we were running a bit low on. We've got obviously access to plenty of plates and that sort of thing. But uh, just wanted to make sure we had some raw iron around as well for any bits and pieces we may want. Let me put my mining gear away for now. Where's that ore scanner? There. So I've got me under blocks of combat steel. I can put that crushed dirt into the thing. Um, we're, gonna, we're running low on silicon as well, but that's for the. Well, actually, we're not. We've got a bunch of ingots there. Okay. Um, let's take these blocks. I think we just we carry on. Actually, we don't carry on. First, we want to make maybe 10 elevators and then we knock out some extra combat steel so let's take those was there um, the T1 generator was that an ingredient for the making of the T2 generator it was we might as well leave that behind <clears throat> leave that behind we need some more flux coils to make that but they'll come, they'll come. In the meantime, let's get back up into space. And for some reason I've got a waypoint to the orbital trading station, but not to my CV. So let's fix that right now. least get the framework of this like central part whoa of this central part mostly sorted out this session So we know we're going to want elevator, elevator block, actually we're probably going to want more than this because we want elevator going up to the flight deck. And going down into the engine room. Is that going to be enough elevators? Might want one more. They're kind of tricky to place because, uh, unlike most of these kinds of blocks, you can actually see and point through them. Uh, no, I think that's alright. This is going to be the bottom of the ship here. Like so. Uh, oh, actually, yes, I am going to want one more, because I'm going to want to be able to get into the bloody flight deck, aren't I? Uh, let's see, disassemble, return intact block. Yeah, I'm going to want one more elevator to go in there. Have oh, I got my light on? I haven't. So, let's get this bit here planned out. Uh, we're going to want nice and square on this side as well. How many is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven further down. Seven. That lines up there, real nice. Uh, 
and here to to one two up oh, fucking thing three four five six seven across there and across there so in that room we will have fuel tanks generators uh, we might fit the warp tank in there as well maybe some O2 storage although we might have uh, like separate nacelles for the warp fuel and for the oxygen Now, up the top here, we want uh, like spokes leading outwards. So I think regardless, shall we say, I'm not sure how big a capital ship can actually be, but let's say we want to go one, two, three, six, that far out. Uh, then if we do this, hmm, I think that's going to be quite a narrow corridor. Uh, maybe that's all right though. So if I come down on here, yeah, do you know what? That'll be fine. That'll be fine. Uh, I don't think I want to make this entirely out of combat steel. Um, I want to leave some room to put some glass in there. So if I have the corridor off the lobby like this. We'll be able to mount like a, a turret or something on top of here, which is what I want to do. I have bits sticking up, maybe sticking down as well. And we'll be able to like do the rest in glass. Yeah, that's I kind of like that. We'll do the corridors that way. The main reason I don't want to build the entire structure out of combat steel is it's incredibly heavy. So it really will put a lot of strain on the thrust. It, it is kind of nice that we won't have to uh, won't have to land, so we don't have to worry about escaping the atmospheric drag. But we do want to be able to move a little bit in space. So we've got corridors off to side chambers over here. So we've got one for the farm, uh, one for, I guess, medical and storage, or like a, a personal chamber where we can hang out. Um, we're going to need cargo somewhere. Could have um, could actually have junctions off these corridors. Um, yeah, if I was to make these a bit wider like that, and then we can have a, a door there.
So we could have a door here that lets us run a corridor off this way as well. Hmm. That'll work. And we can have like a like a farming deck back here, out, sort of out of the way of these uh, all this business down here, which is going to be the engines and what have you. Living quarters at this end. Cargo, fuel, storage. I think we're, go we're, we're going to be able to fit everything we want in. Let's go back and get some more combat steel and also some glass, I think. If we can make the glass. Because we might need to mine some more uh, sathium plates, more hardened steel plates. Jesus, we only got six. Okay, we yeah, we do actually need to go and do some more. Uh, do some more mining. We are out of, I assume, hardened plates. Yeah. Okay, we need to go and uh, probably finish off the spaceport then. Let's get some food while we're here. I just want to know something really cool I just noticed about the uh, the trees. I don't know how long it's been like this, but if I run into this tree at full speed, we actually knock the tree over now. Granted we waste the wood and probably do a bit of damage to the HV, but that will make navigating, especially on Aqua, much easier. Right, whoa, 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 we're here. I've just I've set the turrets to just shoot at predators. Um, I honestly don't mind if it does that now. There's nothing it really needs to defend us from anymore, apart from just like general, general uh, threats. So let's get some more hardened steel. It's a shame I never really got on with Space Engineers single player because I feel like this was. Like the one section of the game that I really enjoyed with Space Engineers. There's just something very satisfying in the single player survival mode in that game. Just going at things with a grinder rather than just pinging them away with this laser. I mean, it's very nice that the laser can do it at range, although only 8 meters range, granted. But yeah, the one moment of fun I really had with Space Engineers single player was just grinding away at things. I thought there were some generators left in here. Maybe I've already taken them out. I thought maybe we'd get some flux coils, but apparently not. What is left in this base? No, there's nothing. Just uh, just the core left in terms of devices. Well, look at what we've done. There used to be a spaceport here. And that's getting us uh, about 1,700 steel plates plus a couple. Not even enough to finish our CV, but at least it gets us further progress. Uh, oh, our windscreen's damaged. That's what crash crashing into the trees will do for you. Well, let's go back to base and uh, start melting these plates down, turning them into combat steel. Also, some glass plates. Nice. Uh, right. We're going to want some more combat steel, obviously. So let's start off with another 40 of those. We're also going to want some large armoured window blocks. Let's make 100. We're going to going to make good use of them eventually. Uh, after that, we're going to want... I don't think we want armoured doors. I think we just want doors. Well, we'll make like five airtight door blocks. We'll have some like armoured external doors, I think, for the ports and what have you. Oh, we need, of course we need a we need a hangar for a small vehicle, don't we? Or several small vehicles. Where am I going to put that on the ship? Probably in front. Oh yes, and one more elevator block. Do I have any elevator blocks? I feel like I should have picked some up by now. Uh, apparently, I don't. It's 
quite astonish astonishing. I should have grabbed one off the off the base there. Well, anyway, we picked up the materials for one, so we're just going to remake it. Okay, uh, well, time's getting on, so let's take these blocks into space. Keep on laying out the framework of what we want to do. Oh, food. Food and oxygen. Almost forgot. Oxygen. And food. Just so we don't have to keep eating our cans. And uh, what am I doing? Jesus, but I should make some more uh, more combat steel blocks to be running while we're away. All right now, let's go back into space. All right, jetpack, and let's go back into first-person view. So yeah, what we're going to do here, uh, let's take that block, oh, god damn it, we disassembled it into plates, whoops, uh, deconstruct, there we go. So we will get rid of that slope there, and we'll have another Corridor off the back there. Get rid of these two. The corridor here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, we may do the same at the front. Um, I feel like out the front here is where we're going to have the flight decks. Space for a variety of small vehicles. So let's just mark that space off now. So we'll do the same thing with the corridors branching off. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and same on this side. Three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can have a shipyard out the front here. going up there. Let's get these junctions built in. We don't want a block there, do we? I've just taken that one out. Uh, is this on the right thing? Returns intact blocks for own structures. There we go. So there's that one, that one. Slopes. Yep. 
Yep, and same on this side again. Slope, slope, cube, 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 and four slopes. Starting to take shape of design here. Right. I feel like next, honestly, I ought to start making the components because I've got things to fit in like um, cargo boxes, uh, the warp tanks and all that sort of thing. We have to find somewhere for the thrusters to go. And obviously we're going to want to position defences. big are all the... whoops, didn't want to do the drone there. Um, the capital vessel turrets. What's the biggest one? They're all, that's 3x3, three 3x3, three, 3x3. Three by three, three by three. They're all 3x3, three three. okay. <clears throat> So I can have turret platforms up here. And these uh, large corners or small corners? Yeah, large corners. There and a turret over here. Inverted large corners. Is that right? That's right. So, turrets there, and obviously, some more turrets elsewhere. We're not going to have just those two. Uh, now, warp station stuff. Um, warp cells. Warp. Well, the warp stuff honestly should be the easiest to put in because you can only have one warp engine and one warp uh, tank. Let's see. Capital vessel. God damn it! Where is it? Ah, here we go. Warp drive. Uh, three wide, two high, and five 
So three by two by five. And then also we're going to want the warp tank, which is uh, well, one by two by one, nice and easy. So we can put the warp drive on this side. So space here for a warp tank on one side. A uh, bit of floor space and then one, two, three, four, five, and there's the edge. So that'll be the warp tank. And that's my hour, believe it or not. Um, all right, I think we've made a fair bit of progress. Oh, Jesus, I think we've made a fair bit of progress today. All the placements of most things are sorted out now. So just to recap, got the command station up here. This is kind of a lobby area. Uh, fuel and generators down here. Warp drives on that side. I'll probably have like some oxygen sticking out one side and LCS units. I might just um, stick a, a cluster of thrusters down there on the bottom as well. Uh, we can have a farm back here. We can have storage back here. Living quarters over there. Something over here. I'm not quite sure what's going there. And there's like the ship bay out the front here. Which, I mean, ideally we'll have space for like four... SVs and just a bunch of turrets stuck on all over the place. These are going to be glass corridors, these are going to be glass corridors, there's going to be glass up here. Um, okay, good. Uh, so, yes, that's, uh, that's, that's progress. I know we haven't started putting any actual stuff on this yet, this is just a big structure floating in space, but it's coming together. So, Anyway, that is another episode of Empyreon Galactic Survival. Join me next time for more capital ship construction. Uh, in the meantime, I hope you have fun, and I'll see you next time.